hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to easily remove the background of an image as quickly as possible if this is your first time on my channel please don't forget to subscribe so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to throw a desktop frame on the board and i'm going to use the unsplash plugin to quickly get an image so i'm going to look for a simple image that we can easily use i'm going to search for let's say a macbook um, and once i get the image of a macbook i'm just going to select this particular image here and click on it to paste it on our board so once we have the image that we are going to be using what we want to do is to remove the background from this macbook object here so i'm just going to zoom in basically to be able to remove background you need to be able to use the pen tool so i'm going to click on the pen tool here in the top left corner and what you are going to do is you're going to trace out the objects that you're trying to remove the background from which in our case is this macbook here so you're just going to zoom in and start carefully tracing out the object so you're going to be clicking from point to point to create a trace um, of the object and when you get to places that have curves like the top of this macbook here you're going to carefully um create dots at interval or if you're already proficient with the pen tool you can just do it the way i'm going to do it here once you zoom in you can use a curve that means you can click on um, two points um where you want to create a point and click and drag just like i'm going to do here you can drag it to create a curve you can see that little curve on the edge but if you're not really proficient with using the pen tool you can just carefully create um points at interval um to create a very um easy curve right so i'm going to do the same thing for this part you just want to make sure you're tracing out the object perfectly and if you happen to make a mistake with your curve that's fine you can click ctrl z or command z to go back to redo what you've done and do it again so i'm just going to continue um, creating a, a trace i'm going to continue tracing out our object and just to show you guys um what i mean by carefully creating dots at interval if you want to create a curve i think for this edge here i'm just going to um try and do that so what i'm going to do is just click um at interval carefully like you just make sure you're not going too far just carefully click at interval to create that curve but if you're really good you can just um use the usual curve by clicking and dragging to create that curve so i'm just going to quickly um, move the video a little faster to when i'm done tracing out this macbook object here Um, so guys i'm almost done tracing out the macbook and you want to make sure once you're getting to the initial point where you started you want to make sure you connect the dots you want to connect the final dot with the very first one that you created just so that your vector completes an object so once you trace it all around and the dots connect it becomes an object where you can fill it with an actual color so you can see on the top left our uh, vector um our vector shape and if you go to if you turn off the image or if you close the image you can see the traced objects if you click on the trace vector object or shape you can also fill it with a color to make sure that it's um it's a shape so as you can see i filled this with this gray color and this is where we want to um mask the object we just traced out and from here, basically what you want to do is to select both the image and the object that you just created. Um, you make sure you fill it to be sure that it's a shape. What you want to do is to select the image and the object and click this use as mask um, icon up here. So once you do that, you're supposed to be able to see your object. But it won't work here because the layer, which is the object layer, is above the image layer. I just did this to show you guys so that in case you're running into a problem like this, what you want to make sure is that your 
image which is um the the shape you just traced out is under the image so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your vector and put it below the image you're trying to um mask your user's mask so you're going to move the vector layer below the image so by now you won't be able to see the fill then you can select both items and click the use as mask button up here once you do that you will see that your image is now um isolated from the background so guys this is it this is how to remove a background from an image in figma please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new video thanks for watching and i'm going to see you in my next video